So, what to do if Client EA does not always use a fixed lot size when it is configured configured to use the fixed lot size? Yeah. <laughs> so, if you set Client EA to use a fixed lot size, then there is no way for the Client EA to use any other lot size. It's just not possible. However, there might be a couple of scenarios for misunderstandings. So, it depends upon whether, you know, it could be like broker's minimum and maximum lot size limitations, or it could be partially, partially closed trades and change lot size. So the first thing is that brokers have minimum and maximum lot size limitations. So it's best to understand this by an example. So consider the broker has a maximum lot size limitation of 50 and you're trying to use a fixed lot size of 60 lots. The broker will obviously deny such lot size and the client EA will be forced to use just a lot size of 50, which is maximum allowed by the broker. Yeah. So obviously there's nothing you can do to override this because this is the limitation on the broker side. Well, you tried, call, you know, you might try calling them and say, "Hey, could you raise my uh, maximum lot size?" And they, they might do this for you. You know, if it's someone trading at sixty lots, you know, pretty big fish, maybe <laughs> they might take your uh, request and uh, make it happen. But for most of us, it just won't. Yeah. So, in um, like to avoid this, there is a parameter called split lots. It's a function in the client EA that you can split that 60 lot trade into two trades of 50 and 10. So that's kind of a workaround if that is bothering you like these limitations from the brokers. Another thing that might cause uh, some misunderstandings for the fixed lot size is that the partially closed trades change lot size. Well, a lot of people would just understand this and it, you know, it just comes to them like normally. But um, usually Forex newbies don't know about partially closed trades and you know what is that and so on. So I'll just give you an example. So consider the master opens a trade of two lot size, yeah, and the client copies it at a fixed size of one lot. So so obviously in this example, we choose the fixed lot size of one lot yeah, for the client. So master closes half of the position, which is one lot, and the rest lot is left to run. So master had two lot trade. It closed one lot, one left to run. yeah. So it kind of closed half position. So the client will now have to close half of the position as well. But for the client half of the position is 0.5 lot because it has a one lot running, yeah? So it closes 0.5 lot and the remaining 0.5 lot will be left to run on the client account. Now, you come back to your platform later and you see that 0.5 trade running on the client and you might assume that the client EA copied it incorrectly because you just set it to always copy a fixed lot size of one, remember, yeah? <laughs> but in reality, it's all okay because it was copied correctly at first at full, you know, full lot size, but then closed partially by the master later. So obviously, obviously if, you know, trade copper's job is to copy and replicate all the actions that happen on the master account. So, you know, if it closes half of the trade, to you know get some profits before before closing the full trade then obviously client has to do the same yeah 